Hi, welcome to The Creative Process. My name is Andrea Trimbeth. I'm an illustrator. I've worked in a number of different mediums, and today I'll be working in charcoal. I'm just plotting out the form of it, basic line. Um, referencing a uh, dinosaur book here, I got a picture of a uh, Dionicus skeleton in a very dynamic pose. What I'm going to try to do is flesh this guy out, maybe add some feathers, do a few personal touches. Initially, when I start these drawings, I like to keep them very loose because a lot of times I'll decide to go in a different direction if it's pose or uh, maybe raise a leg here or move an arm down. Or, but I never, typically never draw exactly what I see. I mean, it's good practice and everybody should do that once. Uh, I did that quite a bit when I was in college taking um, drawing courses that helps to train your eye. And um, recognize negative, positive space in between the form makes for a much more accurate, accurate picture. So I'd recommend everybody do that it's every now and then. If um, you probably you know if they've never done anything like that before, and help train their eye. And then after that, after you get pretty good at it, just do whatever you want. And you won't need to reference anything, just put them in um, whatever pose you want. You basically just pull it out of your head after you've done it enough. Oftentimes when it comes to charcoal, since it smudges out so easily, I don't I don't use the eraser much until getting right to the very end when I want to tighten up the drawing. What I feel when I'm creating my artwork is uh, a number of different things. It depends on the kind of subject that I'm working on. If it's, uh, if it's very energetic, uh, kind of a raging beastie, uh, mouth open, teeth bared, then I'll feel uh, much more uh, edgy and excited. If it's something that is uh, a laid-back picture of a reclining cat or a person sitting in a chair, um, I'll feel likewise much more relaxed. And um, so it really, it almost always depends on the subject. And also depends on the kind of music I'm listening to. I like to choose certain kind of music if I want to convey a particular mood through my artwork. Sometimes I sketch in charcoal or pencil or even pen, and I'll develop a painting later based on that. I've got multitudes of ideas in my in my sketchbooks, most of which I actually draw in ballpoint pen. I really like to use those, even though I can't erase any kind of mistakes I make. It actually trains me not to make mistakes. But I like to carry those around because I don't ever have to sharpen again. And they don't get uh, wiped out if I move them around. And, uh, it decreases the risk of any kind of smudging or loss of the picture over time. I encourage everyone at home to try their hand at artistic expression. Even if you don't think that you're artistically inclined, just give it a try, enroll on a course, and see where it takes you. It's a great stress reliever, and who doesn't have stress in their lives? If you want to participate in the creative process, send us an email at thecreativeprocess at comcast.net or give us a call at 253-864-4357.